14-9, back with you from Cox Pavilion. It's Bucks 14, Spurs 9. And fans are not going to see him actually on the court, at least not legally today, because you're very animated on this side of the, of the floor. Tell me what you've been doing uh, watching your teammates out here. Uh, just cheering them on. You know, uh, you know, John Scherner, he's one of my favorite players. He can shoot, you know, and he hits threes. And so I, I love it when he gets a pick and pop and chance opportunity to, you know, hit a three. John Henson, we talked earlier before this game started, and you told me that your role is going to change this season. The good thing is you're only 22 years old, but you have the mind of, of an older guy. I told you that earlier. And you don't look at it as much as pressure of being a leader, but you look at it as an opportunity and a responsibility. Yeah, it is opportunity. And, uh, you know, you want to take advantage of it. And, and you work hard all summer. And you do all the things that you're supposed to do to be ready for the opportunity. And that's kind of what I want to do. You know, a lot of guys want to put in as many minutes as they can in summer league. You don't have anything to prove necessarily, but why did you choose? Coaches gave you an option. Why did you choose to sit this one out? Uh, you know, just to give the guys an opportunity to play. Um, you know, especially Clint and John. You know, they you know, especially Clint hasn't been playing that, that much. So uh, it's a chance to get out here and show his stuff. And, uh, you know, hopefully can do, we can get a win and, uh, you know, leave on a good note. I saw you speaking to Ish when he came by the, the baseline a little bit ago. What were some things you were saying to him? I told him he needs to dunk on somebody for it's all said and done. So uh, that, that's, 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 what he, that's what I told him. And I mentioned uh, Dennis and Vince, how animated he is over here with his team and wanting them to win. I think he broke a chair even. I did break a chair. It's, uh, it's behind the bench, but uh, we won't speak on that. <laughs> that's all right. He just got too excited, guys, too excited. This is a young fella to keep your eye on because you know he's going to be a leader uh, on this Young Bucks team. And, and talk about your new role to be defined this year. Uh, just, you know, uh, Coach, Coach, you said, you know, he's going to find roles, and, uh, you know, that's kind of one of the things I'm excited to see, you know, as our team shape out uh, what, what's going to be my role, and, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, we have a good year and, uh, you know, both be successful. What do you want that role to be? Uh, I mean, it's contributing, uh, being, the, you know, in the rotation, and, uh, you know, other than that, that's all you can ask for as a young player, and, uh, you know, that's what I want to do. You know, I asked him earlier, guys, if he's always smiling, and what'd you tell me, and why? I mean, just, you know, I, have, I don't have any reason to frown right now, man, so it's all good. <laughs> you will see this on the floor, off the floor, but he's also a fierce competitor. Don't let that smile fool you. Don't let it fool you. I, 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 I get it in, so. Guys. All right, Stacey, thank you very much, and you too, John. And uh, Dennis, I will say this. John Henson is not the first person to break a piece of furniture in Las Vegas. And now let's go to Stacy Pates. And Stacy, a little more on the San Antonio way of doing business. Yes, well, Dennis said it perfectly. You know, these are guys trying to get into a system. And if they want to play in Greg Popovich's system, they have to have a certain mindset. That mind mindset is always business first, play hard, run the system the right way. And it's always going to be the right way under Coach Popovich because we know how he coaches and how he leads. Now, just watching this bench, this first bench, Summer League, one of the main things for Summer League, coaches want to see if players are coachable. They want to see how well they listen. Are they serious about what they want to do in this league and for their futures? You can look down that bench right now and see these are some guys that are taking it very seriously. This is what a Spurs bench is supposed to look like. They're very engaged. They're watching the game. Yes, they're animated and cheering their team on, but these are a bunch of guys wanting to make a very important roster with a very important coaching staff. Absolutely right, Stacy. I mean, uh, you do not last long, whether you're new to San Antonio or you're somewhere. Las Vegas, Nevada, 2013 on NBA TV. This is Summer League. It's been good here all day in the Cox Pavilion. Welcome. I'm Stacy Pates. Nice to have you alongside us right here on NBA TV. The Spurs right now doing some work. And we talked a little bit earlier in the broadcast that they're still a very even-minded team, even at Summer League. Well, what is happening in Cleveland? A little something special. Mr. Bynum is up to speak. I feel like... For me, getting my career back on track and, and, and really playing a full year is, is my only goal, you know, with, with this season. Um, and I really feel like I can accomplish it. And, you know, work ethic-wise, I come in every day and I work hard. 
It's a new start for Bynum. He didn't play last season with Philadelphia with that knee surgery. Signed a two-year, $24.5 million contract with Cleveland. You see his career numbers there, almost 12 rebounds, and he shot almost 57%. A two-time NBA champion with L.A. And that work ethic he mentioned, they need it, and they're waiting for it in Cleveland. Time for news and notes around the league. Charlotte announced their name change. They will be the Hornets once again, this time effective in 2014-15. Jim Buss says that Kobe Bryant could return for the preseason. Fans about hearing that are very excited. And the reports from Mike Miller's lifestyle could be changing soon. Of course, we know that he's no longer with Miami. They uh, used their amnesty with Miller. He cleared waivers. He's a free agent. Where will he land? Earlier today, it was the Knicks and Jeremy Tyler making a case for making a roster. He had 20 points on 8 of 12 shooting and the Knicks win over the Clippers. Here's McLemore. He was scoreless in his first game, or yesterday's game rather, but the Kings saw him get a summer league high 27 and they got their first win. Here's a look at the remaining schedule. The important part of the quarterfinals will be tomorrow right here on NBA TV. All time are Eastern. Take a note of your favorite teams there. Golden State, LA, they'll be right there and you'll see at four o'clock Cleveland and Bynum's team taking on some action there in the last game. Tuesday at 3 o'clock Eastern on NBA TV. Make sure you check out Real Training Camp. It's USA Basketball at its best. Make sure you check it out Tuesday, 3 p.m. Eastern time right here on NBA TV. Well, there is a lot more to come. Second half action straight ahead. San Antonio 49, Milwaukee 44. Well, right now, as Mays is at the line, let's uh, send it over to Stacy Pates. I just wanted to add a little bit to what Dennis was talking about with the Bucks and, and Larry Drew and something that I was speaking with, uh, with um, John about earlier before the game started, before I sat down and interviewed him, was Larry Drew and what he expected. And he said that a lot of the guys are going to be called to a higher level. That is leadership. That is putting things in a different perspective. They have a team-first attitude. That's never been the question. But it's leadership and it's finding significant roles. And in talking with John Henson, I, I know I made this comment on the air earlier that he's such an old soul kind of thinker you know he he always looks like he has an idea of exactly what's going on how to handle different situations that's always been his mindset and if that can translate continue to translate into Larry Drew system they could be somebody that uh, is a team that shocks some people just based on work ethic and, and the system they could if they pull together and of course the Brandon Jennings saga whenever that becomes uh, have a period on that story but the main thing right now with these young bucks is they have to continue to grow as role players, know their role, and also they have to be leaders. All good points, Stacy. Uh, I think Larry Drew did a tremendous job with the Atlanta Hawks. This is Stacy Pates with a special guest. He put on a show in this one. He did put on a show, and you know that's the whole purpose of summer league is to be seen. You know that you're being evaluated by coaches and, and to see if you could make a roster. How would you evaluate your play today? Um, I think I just played hard and tried to do whatever my team needed to, to get the win, and we did that today, so I think it was good. To that end, doing what you can do to get the team to win, in a situation like this, you're trying to prove yourself authentically. How do you not do too much, you know? Um, that's a good, I think it's just a rhythm, really. You know, you kind of come in, you get a feel for it, and then you go from there. And whatever they need you to do in that scenario, because everything you different, that's what you do. Well, work speaks for itself. We wish you the best. Thanks for your hard work today. Thank you. All right, all right. We're going to go to break right now, but make sure you stay right here on NBA TV. It's the Bulls and the Mavs. We have it covered from start to finish. NBA Summer League 2013. Coming up next.